bites uh, might be better than big bites. Uh, I guess that depends on what's biting and who's biting and all that good stuff. And uh, let's find out who's doing the biting here uh, with the INDB plant. Uh, in a desperate attempt to protect her 10-year-old daughter, a young widow allows a nightmarish monster to slowly, slowly eat her alive. All right. Uh, hence the biting, hence the little bites uh, for slowly <laughs> eating her. Um, all right, that that definitely sounds uh, very horrorish and nightmarish as they say here. Um, okay, so this is a new film recently released. Um, I received a screener for it, uh, unfortunately a little bit behind, uh, so I know it's been released already, but I will still... Uh, keep this uh, pretty spoiler free for you guys. Uh, I don't know if you guys have been able to catch this yet or not So I will be spoiler free as possible as much as possible um, With it uh, definitely some interesting stuff happening here um, Definitely a different kind of story here very, you know, kind of simple, but uh, not too simple uh, You know at some points you think it is but it's, it's a little bit more than that. Um, so yeah, um, we get introduced to, to this mother here, um, living in this house, kind of dark, and um, definitely something a little bit off with her. And it doesn't take too much time to kind of figure that, um, yeah, something bad is happening here uh, as she kind of has to go into this basement. And, um, we don't, you know, it, it, as far as the monster that's in this basement, um, it is, you know, we, we gradually get to see more and more of it as, as the movie kind of goes on. Um, early on, it's very dark. You don't get a, a huge big glimpse of it um, as it's kind of biting on her and, and, and just eating a little bit of her at a time. Um, but... As the movie goes on, we will see more, in case you guys are wondering, you will see a little bit more and more of it. Um, you'll definitely hear it, it definitely talks, we definitely have conversations, I'll touch on that in a second. Um, but it, yeah, we will get to see more and more of it um, as it goes. So it's not, you know, not something that's hidden away that, that we're just never gonna see. Um, so yeah, we get to see her kind of getting chewed on by this thing. Uh, you get to see her, you know, you know, outside of being with the monster, you kind of see her at times, you can see all the markings on her arms where it has bitten and chewed on her. Um, you know, it, it, she's not missing any major pieces of her. So, uh, you know, when it says uh, little bites, you know, it, it truly is that, you know, we're not doing anything big here. She's not missing an arm or a leg or anything like that. Um, very interesting with the creature, you know, it says, you know, obviously here in the, in the description, uh, just a nightmarish monster. Um, you know, as I watched it, I, I kind of went back and forth. I'm like, is this just a monster? Is this a vampire? I mean, it kind of seems like it. Um, you know, is this like some weird kind of demon? I don't think it ever really defined itself. Um, so, you know, unless I miss something that really defined itself. Uh, so I guess, you know, as you guys kind of watch it, maybe that's something you can look for to kind of see, you know, what you guys think, you know, do you definitely think it was a vampire? Do you think it's something else, a mix of something, um, or just an own unique monster here? Um, to me, you know, it kind of had some tells of, of a vampire. Um, but, you know, I, I again it's never 100% clear, or at least, you know, there's nothing there that does. So, you know, if I had to guess or I had to go with something solid, I would say that, uh, but maybe they left the door open a little bit for, for maybe something else. Um, anyway, it's there and it's eating her. And um, I, I think, you know, one of the things, you know, I, I don't want to label the movie slow, like a, a slow burn movie, uh, but really, there's not, you know, a, a ton of action and not like a whole lot of, you know, things going on. Um, you know, she's, you know, obviously being eaten by this thing slowly. And, you know, every time she goes there, they have a conversation. 
and uh, you know sometimes it's a very interesting conversation you pick up things um lots of talk about motherhood and obviously like i said it says in the top there she's kind of doing this um to kind of save her daughter like um you know you almost she kind of comes to this agreement that she's letting the monster eat it eat her so that you know the, and has no involvement with her daughter and her daughter's at at um the daughter's you know um, grandmother's house and um obviously the grandma's like hey you know when can i send this little girl back she's like no not yet um added to the problem is that that she has uh a child services come to the house and be like hey you know you know where's your daughter we want to talk to her we have reports of this and that and um so that kind of puts a little pressure on her to to kind of figure out what she's going to do with this monster you know how to uh put off child services and you know, so, she, so she doesn't have any trouble there um you know what is she going to do about this monster down here in the basement and um so you know i i think part of the film part of the underlying of the film is is motherhood and and um you know kind of you know sacrifice and uh you know, that kind of thing. I'm sure there may be some other deeper things that are above my head. <laughs> I'm not a mother, so I don't know. But um, I, I have a feeling that in some of the conversations between her and this monster um, are, are kind of interesting, but I'm sure there's other things, other meanings that, you know, the film is trying to get out uh, with these conversations. But uh, again, for, for me, that kind of you know, after a while, it just kind of like goes over my head. I'm like, okay, um, you know, is this monster going to rip off her arm at some point? Uh, is she going to lose a limb? You know, when is she going to bleed a little bit more? <laughs> yeah, that kind of stuff is going through my mind. Um, but yeah, they, you know, they are going to have these conversations. So, you know, for those who are in tune to dialogue and maybe want to reach the deeper meaning of whatever's going on here, uh, definitely kind of make sure you're, you're kind of catching all of that. Um, like I said, you know, again, to kind of think of that, that vampire thing, you know, that's kind of when, you know, in the way he kind of talks and, and speaks and, and so forth, um, you know, it just, it seems like kind of like that vampire way that we see that kind of old vampire movie um, thing that we always see, you know, when they, when they talk to women and so forth. So, um, so yeah, so this this mother here, she's got a lot going on here to unpack. But again, you know, she's not going too many times outside of the house. Much of the movie takes place in the house. Um, you know, it's more with people coming to the house, the child services, or either or the mom on the phone with the grandma about the little girl. Um, so you know, that's why I kind of lean to slow burn. But I'm not gonna say you know it was terribly or or really slow slow. Uh, but there's, you know, not a whole lot of action going on outside of, you know, the monster feeding on her. Um, it does pick up a little bit at the end, uh, in the back half of the film. I'm not going to tell you guys too much about that. Like I said, I'll keep this spoiler free. Uh, it, so, uh, you know, as you would expect, a little bit more suspense, a little bit more tension there. Um, you know, as we get closer to her, kind of figuring out whatever she's going to do with this monster, or deal with this monster, um, you know, as the pressure of, of many things kind of uh, come together, uh, you know, towards the back half of the film. Uh, it will definitely end on an interesting note. Um, I'm not going to say it was a total surprise as we kind of go down that road. Um, as you guys are kind of watching it, I, I would assume that some of you guys will kind of see what eventually happens coming. Uh, so I don't know that it's a total twist. It may be a twist for some. Uh, maybe some won't expect it. Um, you know, it definitely could have just gone, you know, one direction and and, and it would have been that. Um, but it chose this direction. I liked this direction. Again, you know, I think they tried to shock and surprise you with it. Um, you know, as things were kind of unfolding, I had, you know, it came across my mind that this might happen and then it happened. So, you know, it wasn't, it, it didn't shock or grab me. So I was like, okay. Um but I did appreciate that they went that round, kind of wrapped it up nicely and gave me something to at least smile about. Um, you know, again, not that the movie's bad, but again, you know, there's just not a lot happening here. It just, you know, slowly gets to the point where then, you know, 
we're building on it, we're building on it, and then we get to a point where, okay, now the tension is really going to go. Now the suspense is going to go. Um, you know, it obviously is, is a unique, different kind of situation here, a crazy situation here. Um, and that's kind of what they, they kind of get you to kind of grab you to sit, you know, and stay with the movie early on. Um, but then, you know, like I said, you know, there's just, you know, there's not, not a, a lot else going on here, uh, besides, you know, some conversations and so forth. Um, until the, until we get towards the back half of the movie, then it kind of picks up with the, the tension and so forth. Um. I thought the, the mother did a really good job here. Definitely uh, the actress that plays the mother did a really good job because, you know, she has to display that stress, display, you know, the horror of being with this creature, kind of, uh, you know, she kind of plays dumb at some points, especially with child services. Um, you know, she kind of has to, to, to do a good job of playing dumb with them, but, you know, you know then, you know, kind of minding what to do with this creature or this monster. Um, you know, she tries a thing or two that, that does work. I, I, I guess I should take it back a little bit. There is an interesting thing she does. Uh, I, I'm not going to, to, you know, give that away either. Uh, but she does come up with a plan, but that plan, uh, doesn't really work. It doesn't really work, uh, as well as she thought. And, uh, the monster definitely has an interesting reaction and so forth. So, you know, it kind of, you know, at least that kind of gave me, you know, a, there's a touch of humor there, uh, something to a little bit to laugh at. Um, so, you know, I, that's why, I, you know, uh, I, I don't say it was a complete slow, slow burn, uh, but, you know, uh, there's just, you know, not a huge amount of things happening here. Uh, so, um, and I guess the setup for that is she does at least go out of the house that one time uh, to do that. Um, so that's definitely interesting, but even that in itself kind of takes some time to play out. So again, uh, no hurries here. Um, an hour and 45 minutes looking here at IMDb. So, uh, there you go. So, uh, you know, not overly long, but, uh, again, you know, not huge on the action and everything like that. Um, so yeah, I guess that's what all I can say with that. So I'm going to give it 2.5 pools of blood, kind of liking the ending, but I guess, you know, since not a whole lot has happened here, you know, I, I can't really give it too much more than that. Um, approve of the ending, and, and that's probably why I give it that extra 0.5. Um, had they gone the other route, to probably give it a 2. Um, what route that is, you know, I'm not going to say, because then I'll leave you guys, uh, for, for you guys to kind of figure that out uh, and so forth um, once you guys watch it. So, um that is 2.5 pools of blood out of 5. So horrorscorereviews.blogspot.com is where you can find all of my reviews, written in videos, certainly. Um, you have to go pretty, pretty a ways back to, to find written reviews, um, lots of video reviews so, as for a while now. Uh, so you could like, subscribe, and uh, do everything that everybody else wants to do here on, on YouTube. Uh, but if not, it is, it is okay. I thank you for your time regardless. Um, Twitter, Facebook information down below uh, as well. So feel free to reach out to me there. Uh, talk about this movie, horror, or something you want me to review. And definitely in the comment section, feel free. Uh, once you guys kind of watch this movie, uh, do you definitely think it's a vampire, maybe something else, or, or so forth. And uh, whatever else thoughts you have on this movie. Uh, so with that, I guess I'll catch you on the next review, horror fans.